Now I will take you to the reports section. So within our reports, we have a ton of handy reports. We have our actuals reporting, which is similar to the dashboard, but will just give you the ability to manipulate day, week, month, and also export a CSV here. So you can filter by location or by the exact date you're looking for. Our worked hours and wages report will populate if you have a, an actual, if you have a labor integration with your POS, but also if you're using seven punches, our uh, seven shifts time clocking app. Scheduled hours and wages will give you a breakdown of the scheduled hours and wages that you have. And then variance report, you will be able to access if you have the POS labor integration or are using seven punches. So that just gives you the difference between your scheduled versus your actual hours. Employee timesheet access, if you want to provide it to them, that's a setting in the company settings, but employees will have access to their timesheets if you are using seven punches. There's the time off report, the attendance report, the sick, late, or no-show flags that, I've, uh, that I showed you on the schedule. Ship pool report, so you can see who is constantly, which of your staff is constantly picking up shifts or constantly getting rid of shifts. Punch audit report will give you a report of any punches that were edited using seven punches and select POS integrations. And labor violations report is for that, those advanced labor functions featuring California and New York right now with more to come.